discount lowvoltage.com information nugget hey what's up guys I'm Mercy with discountlowvoltage.com cat5e cross connect wire uh, where would you use this and why well first let's compare this versus the traditional cat3 stuff let's check it out okay so we have your cat3 this is a, they're both the same manufacturer superior SX and you have your superior SX with that cat5e um, cable here they're both one pair both the same color as you can tell by looking at them the cat3 and I'll cut a piece off here in just a minute so we can compare uh, the cat5 obviously has more twist the cat3 has less twist um, obviously the difference one of the main differences of course is speed but there is another difference if the telephone technicians if you do this for a living I'm sure you know that with a tighter twist you guys love to dress up backboards you love to dress up the cross connect uh, the 66 blocks the 110s whatever work you're doing back there because of the tighter twist it makes it easier to go ahead and dress it nicely and have the wires stay in place let's cut a piece off and let's take a quick look at one another now as you can tell they're both the same 24 gauge copper conductor both blue white both same jacket on the outside the difference of course is the twist now let's get into a little bit about why you would use a cat5 versus your traditional cat3 okay so when you install a cat5v cross connect cable you're also getting the benefit of supporting digital subscriber line technologies like ADSL2, VDSL2 and IP broadband okay now these kind of cables they're installed usually you'll see these type of cables in the last mile of the long haul from the central office so let's go ahead and take a look at that right now the cable from the central office and keep in mind the central office is miles and miles away from you uses a fiber optic cable that gets connected to a remote terminal now that's just right around the corner from where you're watching this video right now from the terminal to your premises, cable manufacturers make specific cables to make the most of the bandwidth of that fiber optic cable. You don't want to choke the investment of that fiber with old Cat3 cable. So there it is. The price difference is only a couple of bucks, so you might as well roll with a Cat5e like cross connect instead of the older Cat3 stuff. Don't forget to also comment, like, and also to subscribe to the channel for more weekly videos that are, you know, pretty sweet, pretty good, just like this one. Thanks. Later.